What's up? Coming at you strong with six exercises to fix anterior pelvic tilt. If you don't know what that is, essentially it's when you're sitting, you know, you're inactive, you get this duck butt kind of look. You know, you see a lot of people walk like this. Obviously, I'm being dramatic. It could be as little as this. You don't want to walk around like that. You want to stand tall and strong. So here's six, six movements to get that going. Now before you do any of these stretching or strengthening exercises, you're going to want to make sure you can properly posterior tilt. So this is called the laying down posterior tilt. You can also do it standing. First of all, legs in the shoulder width position, knees slightly bent. When you get down into the, this position, if you have anterior pelvic tilt, you'll probably notice a big rounding right here. All you're going to want to do is basically start there and contract your core, push down, basically making sure that your back is flat on the ground and then lift back up, okay? So this is called the laying down posterior tilt. Down, and then up, okay? You've gotta practice this. I'd say practice it daily, just to make sure you can get into that motion. Now here, this is a progression. The goal here in both of these exercises is to get comfortable with tilting your pelvis. Simply put, similar to the last one, make sure that you're squeezing your glutes and focusing on contracting the core. So before we start to strengthen, we are gonna begin with three stretching exercises. First one is for the hip flexors, it's called the lunge stretch. Now ideally you wanna get into position where you have a 90 degree angle, just like this, okay? And you should really feel this in the hip flexors, okay? And from the side angle, you wanna make sure that you're not doing that anterior pelvic tilt and going like this. You wanna basically contract your belly button, push it towards the spine, make sure your back is nice and flat or else you're gonna make it worse and get a nice, deep stretch. And on top of that, to work your hip flexors more, check out these two variations I have on the screen right here. Second stretch is the cat cow. This is one of my absolute favorites. But before we go any further, click the first link in the description. Uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and give you a free total workout. I know a lot of people like that. So just put your email down below. We'll send you it for free. Basically everything to follow, all these stretches, all these movements to strengthen it. Kind of a little program you can follow because we want to see you beat this, right? So smash like for that. Make sure to click that link and enjoy the rest of the video. So now we're down on the mat. You're gonna start just by putting your knees about shoulder width. Put your hands, get them underneath those shoulders, really position yourself down, spread those fingers nice and wide, feel those palms extending into the ground. Now from this position, we're gonna start by pushing away as we breathe in, so arc that back, really arc in that spine, you can tuck that head a little, just feel yourself elongating that spine, stretching it all out, rounding it nice and big. We're in a safe position to round that out. A good tip I like is imagine if someone has a string um, just behind your spine here and you're pushing against, you're being lifted up by that string, you can feel that extension I'm getting, pushing into my abs, squeezing nice and big. Now from here, we can breathe out, into that cat position. Lift your butt right up into the air. Lift it loud and proud. Really arc that spine, push against it. Push into those palms. Really, really power into those palms nice and tight. Now from here, we're gonna rotate. Hold it till you feel that stretch nice and clean. You can hold your first couple reps a little longer if you want, and just keep alternating back and forth. This is a very relaxing movement, but it really does help you get that spinal control. And next up, stretch number three, we've got the quad stretch. This is very simple. You're gonna lay down with your chest on the mat, and you're basically gonna grab your legs and pull it towards your glutes. Now, at first it may be very tough, but as you continue to perform this exercise, you'll notice that you're able to get it closer and closer to your glutes. Hold it for about 30 seconds. Now at this point, we've stretched the hip flexors, the back, and the quads, and if you're feeling really good, let's jump into these strengthening exercises. So first and foremost, for the first strengthening exercise, we have pretty much the king of glute movements, which is the hip thrust. I love this movement because you can really work on that extension. And here our main goal is gonna be to work against that tilt. So the best way to do that is to make sure our abs are engaged, is to make sure we avoid this hyperextension of that back. So as you can see me getting in position here, I want my legs in front of me, a little wider than shoulder width perhaps, I kind of have my rhomboids, so just below my shoulder on the mat here. Now from here, our goal isn't to be super extended here like we normally would be with our tilt, because then we're just gonna encourage that. Rather, we're gonna squeeze into our abs nice and tight, you can see my abs are engaged, and coming down, lengthening the glute, and I'm thrusting against the glute and squeezing into my butt, trying to really push that posture through. So I'm coming down, squeezing into my glute, really focusing on that posture, nice and tight, coming down. Now we're not trying to overextend here, we're really just trying to work on pushing through, strengthening those glutes, really pushing into those hip flexors, staying nice and tight, really time the breathing here too. Give it some power, give it a two second squeeze. Here's one more. And these are gonna be your best friends. Next up, exercise number five. This one is to strengthen the hamstrings. It is called 
a leg lift, okay? So your goal is to create a 90 degree angle with your legs on the wall, slightly lift this lower back area up, okay? And you wanna get the core nice and tight. Every single movement, you're flexing your abs 20 to 50% like someone's about to punch you in the core, okay? And you wanna push your legs down, try to pull them down without actually pulling them down, and you should feel a massive, massive tension within your hamstrings. Hold it for about 30 seconds. And exercise number six, we've got the dead bug. When choosing a core exercise, you wanna stay away from those that excessively use the hip flexor since they're already super active. So this one's great because it works on your lower back stability. And how it works is, starting position, you aim to create a 90 degree angle with your legs. The most important thing here is you don't want your lower back to be rounding. If you have someone near you or yourself, just constantly put your hand underneath there to make sure that it's not rounding. Posteriorly tilt by squeezing the core, engaging the glutes, and this is how it's gonna work, okay? Everything flat, completely. Take the first couple, nice and slow, alternate leg, alternate arm, okay? Nice and slow and keep that back flat. I can't stress how important that is. Each time, make sure that you're squeezing the core and it's nice and engaged, okay? You may not be able to get all the way down like this at the start, but work towards getting there. That's it, first link down in the description down below. Do yourself a favor, get that for free. Uh, you can go ahead and do this daily, just keep it on your phone. It's gonna take you less than 10 minutes and you're gonna fix this issue. Just start hacking away at it day by day. Um, everyone might have a little bit longer time. It depends how prolonged this issue is for you. Uh, but if you're doing it day by day, you will notice incremental changes and before you know it, you'd be completely rid of this. So thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button, subscribe for more great content like this. We'll see you in the next video, peace out.